Oh, hi guys, um, Mr. Srinivas Kaveti signing in from New York. Uh, today's topic uh, we are going to talk is most important is for students. We're getting a lot of calls uh, asking us if their service is terminated, what do they do? When they get in touch with the school, the school is giving an I-20 asking them to go overseas and come back with um, F1 back into the country by paying a new service fees. Guys, don't do that. Once your service is terminated, if you're in the country for more than one or two months time, if you get a new I-20, if you travel overseas and come back, you'll be detained at the port of entry. And uh, two, you have a remedy if you are in that situation, you can apply for a reinstatement of student status. What does that mean, reinstatement of student status? The same school could give you another I-20 uh, requesting the immigration to reinstate you back. That means to put you back into the same student uh, visa. That's number one. Number two, sometimes if you're not happy with the school and uh, because because of the school mistake, uh, your service is terminated, that uh, because your service got terminated, you became uh, out of status. That means it was beyond your control. You were not in control of that. So uh, if you want to find another school, request the new school to get another I-20 for reinstatement because the old school has to write why your service has been terminated and the new school has to write to the immigration why you should be reinstated. And the third most important thing is once you get an admission in a new school, you should also start paying the fees and start attending the classes and uh, your attendance should be um, 100% and you should also progress academically. What does it mean? Let's say you came in a school A and you could not pass one of the subjects. The school terminated you because you could not pass one of the subjects. You went to a new school and you took up new subjects and uh, you're not uh, good with the old subjects which you uh, failed. So you intend to change to a new subjects. Totally different discipline. It could be a different uh, area of uh, education as well. If you're taking an admission in a new school, you, st you have to still get your I-20, a letter from the school requesting the immigration why your visa has to be reinstated. Three, you have to pay the school fees. Four, you should be attending the classes. Five, you should be approaching uh, some immigration lawyers, file a reinstatement application, pay for the um, fingerprints so that you can get your fingerprints done and uh, you have to uh, craft your letter in such a way that uh, you are in this situation which is beyond your control and two that you have to convince the immigration saying that you're a bona fide student you have come into united states to study not to just uh, waste your time and live in this country and work and three you should not violate immigration law what does it mean you cannot start working outside the campus and number four you should also show that you have enough resources in your bank account either in your bank account or your sponsor's bank account. Number six, you should be progressing in your academic studies. Let's say in the first time when you came to the school A, you only had three grade point or 3.2. Now when you went to a new school, your GPA has to go up. It has to be 3.6 or 8, whatever. So the immigration has to see that you're progressing um, academically, that you're paying your fees, you're attending your classes, you're not bunking your classes, and uh, your intention is to complete your master's or even a graduate program. And because your service was being terminated, not because of you, it was beyond your control. If you can prove all of these factors, then most of the times the immigration, uh, you know, they do use your discretion, they do approve uh, your uh, student status again. What does it mean? They will give you back your own F1 and eventually you can even get an H1B. You can even go back and come back. You can even visit your country. That means they'll put you back into the status. Sometimes uh, you can also get an H1B or sometimes you want to continue to do your PhD. You're okay with that. Sometimes if you want to marry some US citizens, that's okay too. If you want to travel and come back, that's okay too. So that means basically your uh, old record has been washed out and you you are again back into your put back into your student status, and many of uh, you know uh, clients and students who call our firm, they have all these questions. I'm sure this will help uh, all the students 
who are going through this situation and over and over because after COVID, many schools are running on a hybrid model. Some schools, they are saying that you don't have to come to classes. You can do classes online. Sometimes we are not savvy with technology. We are not uh, taking the classes. Sometimes we are not doing the assignments in time. And sometimes even we are not able to understand the classes because there is a no, uh, professor on an in-person. You're not able to answer, answer, understand the questions or you're not able to understand the subject because there's nobody to assist you because you're online. So many times this is happening because, and sometimes people are also becoming sick uh, because of the COVID and post COVID situations, people are becoming sick. And sometimes because of the uh, climatic changes or family factors, people are becoming emotionally sick. Sometimes they get into depression. Sometimes their families at the back home because of the post COVID effect, uh, their families are dying and their businesses are going down. They're not able to pay the uh, uh, fees to the school. Many situations say uh, you're not able to pay the school fees in time. Your service is getting terminated. The school is terminating your student status. Guys, if you have such situations and uh, you become out of status, please uh, get in touch with uh, some competent immigration lawyers because the school DSOs designated school officials are not competent to give you a legal advice on immigration law and most of the times they don't know what is immigration law because F1 regulations are very complex and uh, please uh, they are not well equipped uh, with the immigration law and they are not familiar with the F1 regulations so please get in touch with some lawyers who are specialized in F1 law and get some help and uh, guys uh, if you have any questions get in touch with us we have handled our firm has handled many reinstatement applications if you have any questions uh, email us get in touch with us we are located in new york manhattan we work for monday to saturday and uh, we will definitely assist you initially and if you want to retain our firm we can talk about that later but this uh, video will be very helpful for your friends uh, who are in a similar situation it is not from one country people are calling us from different parts of the world and uh, they're going through this situation uh, sometimes because they're not paying the fees in time sometimes they're not getting the good credits sometimes they're missing their classes sometimes even uh, because they're doing plagiarism and that's another offense too students sometimes coming from countries like pakistan india or bangladesh uh, they're they used to do um, homeworks and assignments together with friends in association and that amounts to plagiarism because you're copying from your friend's assignment that is a serious offense in this country and uh, you will see everything in your school handbook try and read your school handbook try to understand what are the rules and regulations when you're joining the school because the enrollment agreement also gives you a lot of information and if you don't get information read the school website you will get a lot of information and you know and guys don't work outside the campus and if you're cart selling some uh, liquor to the miners selling some liquor to people and working in stores selling some cigarettes to miners these things are common problems by students and this is a breach of immigration law this is also a violation or a crime committing by the penal laws of that particular state or but the particular guy that county be careful don't do those things you've come to this country to fulfill your dream and you have a big american dream fulfill yourself achieve your goals and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up thumbs up support our channel we will come up with more videos which will help you thank you very much